The following video was produced by the Virginia Farm Bureau because agriculture matters. Hello and welcome to the ABCs of Agriculture. Today we'll be learning about how much of the Earth's surface is used to produce the food that we all eat. And we'll use this apple as our example. We'll call it our Earth apple. Today the world's population is growing, but the amount of land we have for farming is not. This means it will be even harder for farmers to grow food for the Earth's population. Imagine this apple represents the Earth. If you cut the apple into quarters, you are dividing the Earth into four sections. Three of those sections, or 75% of the Earth, is covered by water. This includes the oceans, rivers, and lakes. The last quarter, or 25% of the Earth, is land. Now you take your piece of land and cut it in half. One piece, or one-eighth of the earth, is mountains, forests, and deserts. The other piece is the one-eighth of the earth where people live. Take the piece where people live and cut it into four pieces. Three of those pieces represent places where people live that are filled with cities, homes, schools, shopping malls, and local neighborhoods. No room to grow food there. The one remaining piece, one thirty-second of the earth, or three percent of the land, is used for growing food. This represents the topsoil layer on the earth where people grow food. Our land is indeed a precious resource. Farmers and scientists are working tirelessly to learn better ways to grow more food on the land that's left, all the while conserving the land that we have. It really makes you think, doesn't it? For the ABCs of Agriculture, I'm Professor Brad, and we'll see you next month. If you're a teacher in grades K through 8 and would like more information on the Agriculture in the Classroom program, contact Tammy Maxey at 804-290-1143.